Hey everyone, it's Josh and Jim from joshandjimbrown.com um, Tonight we're going to do a uh, just a sample. We're going to do um, three different videos possibly tonight. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Josh and I each picked three beers that either uh, we really liked or we wanted to try, but I do think actually these are ones that we just wanted to try that we hadn't tried before. Yeah, I think these might be new New to us. To us. So. Okay. Do you know which one you want to try first? I know we we're half and half, right? Yeah. I didn't completely talk this out. But I was thinking that. I want to save this one for last. Ow. What's the matter? I hurt my finger for some reason. It's like the joint didn't want to bend. Oh. And I can't get that one. So that's the same as Yeah, that this. one. We, no, it's not. It's not the same beer, but it's the same brewery. Okay. So let's try those together. Okay. That's the These one with the two habanero. Are the same brewery. We tried one the other night that how habanero it was not mad at it no, at all. I really it liked it. <laughs> decent. And we'll try those two. Okay. So so here's the first one we're gonna do. Oh which they're the same too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll, oh. well, that way we can try them together. Okay. So we each picked out one from Tennessee Brew Works. I oh, know you can't see that probably. Oh, I'm sorry, I feel like I got something in my eye. Mine is Southern Wit, Tennessee Brew Works. And I can't read any description on it because I can't see. And mine is Extra Easy. Um, that is not oh, a choice stop. Mine is an ESB, which is an Extra Special Bitter. Woohoo! Hers is a wit beer, so it should be like a German wheat Which I beer. Like. Yeah. So. Without further ado. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys right consider the little it. skull collection we have started. We've been, we got a little skull lot, and it does the, you touch it, and it does the little things. Josh got this for me. I love skulls. I like skulls too. I, I like mine because it keeps my head from being lumpy. Well, nobody, it, nobody said it wasn't lumpy. It keeps my it makes my head less lumpy than it would be. It really wouldn't be lumpy if I would didn't it? have a skull. Because yeah, it would just be mush. It'd be all droopy and saggy. Mine looks like pee. So it's cloudy, like <laughs> we would expect from a wheat beer. Mine is amberish. See little bubbles coming up, which you probably can't see there, but. Would you like a smell? Probably wouldn't like the taste. Can't really smell anything. This smells like it's going to taste lemony, which tends to be a slight bit hoppy. Well, sometimes the German will see. Yeah. Let me taste So, it. probably not going to like this one. But we'll see. We'll power through. Might, yes, we will power through. I have powered through many if y'all have watched our videos. Okay. Let's taste it. That's good. It's a bit like a pale ale. It's hoppy, but not it's not crazy hoppy. You're still thinking? Mm-hmm. The, the reason I picked this one, probably... I don't think this one has a lot of flavor. Obviously, is I picked it because it was Tennessee Brew Works, and I hadn't tried it before. Oh, like. So I like trying Tennessee beers. This one says it was brewed in Nashville. Our Tennessee so balls. I won't Tennessee hold that State. against them. I won't hold the whole Nashville thing against them, but... I don't think there's a whole lot of flavor to it. Personally. No, it's pretty, pretty mild, and then you get a little bit of that lemony yeah, at the end. Yeah, but it's like... It doesn't match. The smell sounds, smells like it's yes. going to be a stronger flavor. Do you even want to try? I'll try. I mean, I'll always try it. I really don't smell. It's hoppy, but it's not super, super hoppy. It's not crazy hops. It hits you after a few seconds. These two would probably be alright mixed. Yeah. Might actually balance out. 
and give this one a little flavor. We've actually got a couple of mixes to post. But... Yeah, we have some more to do. Um, we're going to do the Oktoberfest collection from six different breweries. Mm -hmm. And then we've got, uh, we're doing a mixing one uh, where Josh mm -hmm. from got the idea from um, a Facebook page, Beer Mix Masters, mm -hmm. on Facebook. Um, so we've done that before. So we're going to keep doing that because that's actually kind of fun. It is fun because you taste each one independently. And you never would think, you really, I never would have thought to do that. But now I'm like, we should mix these good. Well, it seems kind of like a duh sort of thing. Yeah, afterwards. but it seems kind of like, at first, like a, what? Ooh. But then when you really think about it and you really start looking at the different types of beers there, really, there are, but then the, some of them are just, okay. I mean, when you start to just really put your brain to it, it kind of gets to be like a, well, why, why not? Right. But anyway, so on your on your thumb dial. I mean, I'll be honest. We want to we want to like not, our Tennessee yeah. beers, but they ain't always good. Well, it's not bad, but it's not great either. It's just kind of hmm. like straight over. Yeah. Because I mean, it's not horrible. It's not like I'd be like, oh my god, I'd never drink this again. If it was an option and I didn't like any other choices, I'd probably choose this one. So, if you had this one and a Bud Light and a Corona, they probably would I'd choose this one. We're choosing beer, right? Well, I mean, Bud Light and Corona, <laughs> as much as they are beer, with those are the options. This. That's what I was just saying. So it's. It's not at the bottom of the barrel. Mm -mm. Oh, no. <clears throat> no. And, of course, if there was an IPA or something, you would choose I'll, this. I'll choose this over. <laughs> but then if there's sort of a middle of the road, like, okay, well, like a PBR. I'd probably take a PBR. Closer. But this is actually pretty close to a PBR, I think. Well, we, we drink Yingling's. More. That's our. That's our go-to beer. Standard. So I don't dislike PBRs because that was my dad's favorite beer, but it's not a Yingling. Yeah, Yinglings are so are good. Nothing against my PBRs because I do like them. Well, especially it's, for cheap it's going beers. To the things. Oh yeah. That's the first time it's done that. It's staying with them. It's tripping balls. All but this one. Oh, that's going to it. Yeah. Not the, hmm. I was about to say not the thumb, but there it went. Um, fascinated by my lamp here. You can, oh, you can see it on the thing light on oh, my yeah. fingers. Um, so. But it's, yeah, it's a, hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think I would go. This really would be close to a PBR. Yeah. I really like this one. I would give it like a. Eight and a half ish. Is, is that a, you think that's an eight and a half on the? If that's a ten, then that's a five. It's an eight and a half. Okay, yeah. we're learning things about where to. It's getting cold from. out here. I'm getting. Fall cold. hit Tennessee today. Yeah, which is, is weird. I and mean, then tomorrow summer I'll be back. <coughs> yeah, Short but then by 81. the middle of the week it's going to be highs in the seventies. Yeah, eighty one is not summer. No. but it's more summer Knock than it on is fall. Wood. We've had a very mild summer. We've had a few hot days, but for the most well, part... Well, we haven't hit 100. I don't no, think we hit 100 No, last year, year we were hitting like 103. We did hit some feels likes in the hundreds. Like maybe 100, 101, yeah. something like we that. Yeah, we did hit some feel likes But in, maybe in the, the real temperature... Oh, well, the actual 90, temperature... Yeah, 95, 96, hottest day we've had? Mm, I think we got up to 98 one day. Do we? Mm -hmm. well, 98's pretty hot. Yeah. Will you have but normally, our humidity? you know, we have yes. at least a day in the summer where it hits 100. Yeah, and, and probably six hoping, or seven days when it hits 98 or higher, and then hoping that doesn't mean we're going to have a hell of a winter. <clears throat> yeah, you never know. Crazy shit. Because we've happen. had fairly mild winters. It's been I mean, wet. It's wet, and we we don't get a lot of snow. We get a lot of ice. 
and rain. So we get 30, made fun like, of from like the rain north. rain when it's 34 degrees <coughs> sucks balls. Because well, it's almost cold enough to be ice, but it's not. It's just wet and it's cold. We get made sucks. fun of by, our, our, by, our, by Yankee people, but, you know, when we get ice, people are like, oh, you can't drive in the snow. Mm. We have ice. Yeah, black Nobody ice. can drive an ice. <laughs> Yeah, black ice that gets you in the middle of nowhere when yeah. you're driving forward. I mean, I've gone down a hill dark. sideways. I've slid into a tree. I'm not showing houses, but anyway. Okay. So, so personally, I say kudos to Tennessee Brew Works for extra easy. Eight I'll still give you kudos for this one, even though I'm just kind of. Hmm. I would have. Uh, I'll, I'll check out more another their beers. That was that one was good. How many others did they have? Uh, well, I'll, I'll Sorry, I got chills. Freezing. Um. Okay. So hey, if you've got uh, if you've got Tennessee Brew Works available to you, I say check out the ESB. And hey, why not check out uh check out Southern Wit while you're at it. Yeah, I mean, these are just our opinions on what we like and don't like. So, I mean, if you like yeah. a if you like a Hefeweizen or any other kind of wheat beer, then yeah, give it a shot. wasn't bad. No, I mean, there's uh, there's some bad ones, and you will know it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. All right. Check us next one. Peace.